Hi, it's Teresa again with Craving Crochet. I'm so glad you've joined me today. This video is a little bit different from other videos that I've been doing. This video is called How Crocheting or Knitting is Actually Good for Your Health. I actually entitled it How Crocheting Relieves Stress and Anxiety. Isn't that cool to know? So if you're interested in finding out another method to relieve your stress and anxiety, I would encourage you to pick up some yarn and a hook or some knitting needles and start crocheting. So listen up. Let me show you something. In this day and age, I know so many people who are suffering with stress and anxiety on a day-to-day -day basis and they, they struggle with it and they have no idea how to relieve it except for running to the doctor and getting a prescription. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. It's a very helpful thing for some people in certain situations. But I don't think that pills are always the answer to everything. Um, I mean, if you need it and it helps you, that's awesome. That's great. Um, having stress and anxiety in your life is very, very debilitating. And uh, there's been a lot of research that shows that crocheting actually helps your brain. It ha actually helps to rewire your brain. Isn't that some great news? I'm excited about this. So that's why I'm here to share this with you. I found this article online and it's about this um, nurse. Her name is Betty Houtman. She works at the Anxiety get the name of the place, uh, Anxiety Resource Center, the ARC, Anxiety Resource Center. And what she does is she teaches people how to knit and crochet as a therapy to help them with stress and anxiety. She's a, a nurse that specializes in neurological disorders for children, uh, people with brain disorders, um, brain injuries, children with brain injuries, and as she was uh, helping people in her day-to-day -day work, she came across this research and she started to apply it uh, with her patients. And she's gone to this ARC center and is offering classes as a therapy for stress and anxiety. So that's really exciting. She discovered crocheting at the age of eight when her grandmother taught her how to crochet and she just she's hooked and she loves it anyways I am here to put this video together to give you some hope and hopefully I'm sure it's gonna help you because it has helped me in many ways um, a lot of times when I'm feeling out of sorts stressed out I just grab my hook and my yarn and I start crocheting I absolutely love crocheting I adore it I crave it I love it and I love making things and getting that feeling of, wow, I actually made something with my hands. But it's actually a good thing for your brain. So I'm going to go through the seven reasons why crocheting is good for, for relieving stress and anxiety. So reason number one, reason number one is that it gives you hand movements. And that's a good way to help your brain with the hand movements. The bilateral coordinated precise hand movements are hard working for the brain and crossing over midline requires even more brain work. As a result, we are less able to pay attention to other issues and concerns. In other words, crocheting distracts the brain. Reason number two, repetitive movement. Many of us use repetitive rhythmic movement like pacing, rocking, tapping, picking, hair pulling, smoking, drinking, or eating to calm ourselves when we're stressed or traumatized. There are many more stories of people who have replaced an anxiety crutch with crochet or knitting. Crocheters and knitters with PTSD report that they have fewer flashbacks and other symptoms. Isn't that amazing? That is so amazing. Reason number three. When we crochet or knit, we create a safety bubble around us. Holding the hands together in front of the body creates the sensation of having a protective bubble of personal space 
and comfort and is especially helpful in threatening or anxiety producing situations. Reason number four that you need to knit or crochet is that eye contact is optional. It's totally acceptable in knitting groups to make eye contact only when you choose to. Same thing with conversation. Although greeting others upon arrival and saying goodbye when you leave is recommended. Crocheting and knitting groups are safe places where conversations about knitting often leads to other topics and choosing whether or not to participate means that you are in control. Gives you that sense of control. Reason number five that you need to knit or crochet is portability. Crocheting and knitting can go almost anywhere with you. Just tuck it into your pocket, your purse, or your tote, and a solution is always nearby for when situations of anxiety and panic arise. Even visualizing the movements and feelings of knitting can help in most situations. Any easy, mindless project is best for places with distractions. A new pattern or technique is the best way to distract the mind and create new narrow pathways. Isn't that awesome? Reason number six we need to crochet and knit is that it is good for our senses. It opens up our senses with different colors, textures. There are so many beautiful colors, an array of textures and soft, bristly, smooth or bumpy fibers to choose from. They provide pleasing, visual, tactical and perceptual feedback to our bodies and our brains. Reason number seven we need to crochet is our hormone levels. More serotonin is released with repetitive movement which improves mood, sense of calmness, and after learning to crochet it can also re reduce blood levels of cortisol which is the stress hormone. New narrow pathways can be created and strengthened by learning new skills and movements. As they become stronger with use we change our minds to become quieter and more relaxed. The feeling experienced as your mind flows into the movement of crocheting or knitting can teach you what it feels like to be relaxed and you can learn to recall this feeling even when you don't have your crocheting or knitting at hand. So these are the seven reasons why we need to crochet to help relieve stress and anxiety in our lives. If you are new to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe. If you want to um, learn how to crochet, I have many videos on this channel that will guide you through very basic steps. I also have patterns that you can follow. You don't have to read any patterns. They're actual tutorials and all you have to do is just follow along with my instructions. Give them a try. Try them out. And I really wish you um, amazing uh, stress relief and anxiety relief with the art of crochet. You're going to find that you're going to be just absolutely love it and be hooked on it. I'm totally hooked on it. That's why I crave it. That's why I created this channel called Craving Crochet because I crave crochet. I love to crochet. It makes me feel so relaxed and if I have a lot of things on my mind I just start crocheting and I feel more creative, I feel relaxed and rested and just awesome. It really works. So I encourage you to try it out. Thank you so much for stopping in. Please give me a thumbs up. Share this video if you know someone who's, who's struggling with stress and anxiety. Hopefully it could be um, something that could help them. I really hope and pray that it does. And leave me a comment if you have any questions or concerns. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and happy crocheting.